Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the left join um, inside of SQL statements. Now we've already looked at basically taking data from um, our database. However, what happens when we have, say, a table called people, um, we've got a column called ID and we've got a column called name here or a field called ID and a field called name and uh, each person is assigned an ID so this is an auto incrementing primary key field we've got one representing Alex and two representing Dale um, we've also got a table called pets now inside pets we have um, three fields and uh, the first one's ID which just corresponds to an auto incrementing primary key so each uh, each value each record is unique um, we've also got people underscore ID. Now people underscore ID corresponds to each person in the people database. So rather than having a name in here, we're using the unique um, the unique identifier of each person. So one is Alex and two is Dale. So let's go over to pets and interpret this. What we're essentially saying in this table is that um, Alex has a pet cat and Alex has a pet fish because we've got people ID one and one. And we're also saying um, Dale has a dog. Okay, so we've got one representing um, Alex and uh, two representing Dale. And we've got an, an entry called cat, fish and dog where uh, cat belongs to Alex, fish belongs to Alex and dog belongs to Dale. Okay, so ignore this ID here for now in this column. All we need to focus on is people ID, uh, pet, obviously, because this is what we're going to be uh, echoing out or, or retrieving rather. And also in the people table, we've got an ID of one for Alex, an ID of two for Dale. So hopefully this makes sense. If it doesn't, rewind the video and have another look. Um, now, what are we going to be doing? So it's fair enough we've got all this data, but what we want to do is we want to join results so we can echo out who has what pet. At the moment, they're stored in separate tables. Let me just talk to you about why they're stored in separate tables. When you're working in... Um, in PHP, you're going to uh, most likely want to reference someone's name with um, its their ID. So therefore, by storing it as an ID here, we can use an inner join statement, or sorry, a left join in this case, to uh, identify um, values that exist um, in this table here, in this people table. Uh, we're going to say um, one and two is going to match this here. So we're going to echo out, um, essentially we're going to echo out in the end Alex um, twice with the uh, cat and fish and dog. So Alex is going to be replaced by one, one and two is going to be replaced by Dale. So let's have a look at the SQL query and how we might do this. So we'll run through this and then we'll, we'll have a look at the results. Now it's slightly different, so when we're uh, accessing different tables data, uh, when we're doing our select um, query, so we're going to say select, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to do something dot something. And we do this because we can reference it from a particular table. So we might say select people dot name. Let's just open up this in a new tab so we can see what's going on. So we want to say people, so the table's called people, and dot name, so it's people dot name, so it's from the people table and the field name. And we also want to select from the pets table, let's just open this up. We want to select pets dot pet. So essentially what we want to be displaying will be uh, written here. So we want to display the people, uh, from the people table we want to display the name, and from the pets table we want to display pet, which is the name of the pet. Um, now we want to say from, um, people. Um, so we want to inner join. Uh, we want to left join. So we want to join uh, this um, pet table onto this where the left uh, column exists, uh, or the um, the left data exists in the right. So uh, we want to say where um, this ID here is equal to this people ID here. Um, so we do this in a slightly odd way. So we say from people, we say left join and the table we want to join. So pets, we want to join pets. So select from people, left join pets. Um, and then we want to say um, on, and this is the condition that it's on. So the condition is that the ID here 
ID one or two matches people ID. So we can come back and we can say on people dot ID is equal to pets dot people ID. So we're saying on the condition that people dot ID, which is here, is equal to pets people ID. So inside the pets table, people ID. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this just in case we lose, or copy this rather to the clipboard, and we'll click go. Now you can see that what it's done is it's returned the name uh, column or field, if you like, and the pets. And what we've actually got here is Alex owns a cat, Alex owns a fish, and Dale owns a dog. So we've taken data from two different tables and joined it, but by only using one uh, SQL statement. Now why would we want to do this? Well, we could, in PHP, we could say loop through, and then within a loop we could do another query looking for this ID and then represent that data. The reason we don't do this is it slows everything down. By just using one query as opposed to two queries, you've al al already halved the processing time um, of them queries as a whole. So it's obviously a lot better to only use one query rather than using two different queries. And we don't just have left join, we have right join and inner join as well. Um, so we can use these in different ways and I'll be display, uh, explaining that in other tutorials. Uh, but for now this is the uh, left join and how we're going to use it. So uh, if you ever have data in another table that's represented by uh, say an ID from another table then you now know to use left join to uh, basically join two tables.